Russian figure skater Kamila Valieva has claimed that she tested positive for a banned substance because of contamination with her grandfather's medicine. Now, this is according to a spokesman for the International Olympic Committee who told reporters that Valieva insisted it was a mistake. The 15-year-old was cleared to continue competing at this year's Winter Olympics in Beijing after a court-sighted exceptional circumstances, sparking frustration and anger among some athletes. Valieva made a visibly emotional return to the ice on Tuesday, securing a first place finish going into Thursday's free skate event. While the World Anti-Doping Agency is continuing investigations into her entourage. And for more on this, we're joined by sports editor now, Andy Rubini. Uh, Andy, good to see you. Valieva back on the ice this afternoon in the individual competition. How does she handle the occasion? Well, apart from a tiny slip at the beginning of her routine, the rest of her routine was flawless, so much so that she topped the overall standings going into Thursday's events, which will ultimately decide the medals. It was odd seeing an athlete who had tested positive for a banned substance being able to compete in this Olympic event, but ultimately this Valieva situation is complex due to her age. Uh, she's 15, as you said. The Court of Arbitration decided to uh, protect her, saying that uh, they, they couldn't uh, ban her because that would probably cause irreparable harm to such a young athlete. Now, the substance she took is called trimetazidine, which is usually used to treat heart problems. It can also increase an athlete's endurance. Now, at the age of 15, how do you know what substance to take, where to get it? And she did say that it was maybe her granddad's medicine, but also maybe a third party is involved in. This is what WADA is looking into right now. They're looking into the entourage, the physios, the doctors, the coaches. So we'll have to wait and see. The B samples are also coming through, but I doubt we'll get results before the end of the competition.